Okay guys, so welcome back and we've got another edition of official StarMade weekly news. I have to say weekly with a little asterisk because, uh, you know, things are coming through so thick and fast we've had to just wait and we're going to do a January roundup, or rather a February roundup. I know what month it is. So anyway, <clears throat> without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, I've got with me Ryben and he's going to be our on location uh, reporter for us and we're going to look at a couple of things in a little bit more detail well that's the theory so uh, thanks again we're going to be doing this uh, live so you'll have to put up with us if we have any sort of technical difficulties but uh, without further ado again I say let's get on to the news and I tell you what my head goes a bit nuts <laughs> when I do that so yeah uh, Ryben welcome um, thank you much He'll be speaking when he can speak, because uh, that's that's what he does. There's that's construction undergo being undergone on my ship at the moment. I've got a construction crew here. You might be able to hear them in the background. You know, it's an overhaul sort of deal. <laughs> so basically, the first thing I want to draw your attention to is um, just the sheer amount of updates that have been coming through. So if you want to see that, that is the 20 pre-builds in uh, 14 days. So yeah, there's serious amounts of work going on with the game right now and it's uh, coming to a nice conclusion I think. So uh, yeah, there you go. As you can see here, that's just the pre-build changes. So let's get to the first article, shall we? So on the January the 13th, 2014, um, we were looking at a news release and that was Newsflash. Just get to that on my screen. Right, so this hotfix addresses a bug with server factions changing their ally settings randomly. Also, it gives a little bit of information about the new patch. Schema optimized performance of shadows. In the build is now the helmet that can be uh, worn or removed. And then you've also got a texture pack selection drop down menu. A lot of people were hearing about these new texture packs. They're not forced. Nothing is forced. You can just have the original settings if that's what you want. Um, so, but I'm particularly a big fan of the realistic pack. And also, getting around has never been easier. New and improved gravity blocks can be oriented to allow for custom direction of falling, which means gravity elevators. So that's the first thing that we and want we to show you. Indeed. So we're going to go straight go over. <clears throat> so I'm going to be jumping into the game right about now and uh, I've got my <clears throat> in-game avatar <laughs> my new Tamino courtesy of Zero Sen and it's looking it's looking quite nice I'm not going to take the helmet off but uh, I'm in there <laughs> so let's get out of here oh, I got my ship waiting for me so it's a bit dark but I haven't overhaul overhauled me, uh, my, my uh, lighting in here yet so right let's get in this head up Navari. Hello sir, I'm gonna Hello. leave my needle. I'm gonna leave my needle here. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Right, <laughs> uh, let's see. Where do we go, sir? Right on through the store here. here. Right to right. me. Yep. We we're just gonna we're gonna go to the top one because it's much more aesthetically pleasing. Yep. <laughs> uh, while you're here you can see some of the new lighting changes, which will be covered shortly. And here's the first gravity bit, so... <laughs> I'm walking on the ceiling. <laughs> this one? Which one? Pop right back down. Uh, either one on the other side, but don't click it there because you're going to... Oh, no! Fall back down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, so where am I going? Walk to, me. Walk to you. Now click one of the gravity things. That's, that's one of the things you got to... Now remember. click it. Right, yeah, of course, because yep. I'm just going to fall back down the hole. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Down here, um, this is the fun one. Where'd you go? Right here. Where's, oh, there you are. All right, this is the fun one. Uh, long hallway. This is about a almost 300 meter long hallway. And when you need to get to the other side, <laughs> you just click the button. Oh yes, this is going to revolutionise ship design. Oh you baby. There, right underneath you. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I got it. It works in the other direction as well. There he goes. And you just take off. Works great. Uh, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Right, what, what do I do here? Oh, this one. Just click. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I've done it. I've done it. See, that was actually pretty interesting. That was pretty easy. 
So yep. there you go. Uh, you just need a build mode. You just orient it. You do a wedge, and uh, it's a little bit tricky to tell which one. But if you come to right here, you can easily see there are arrows right there, and that'll tell you exactly which direction the gravity is going. Uh, it does it exactly the same in build mode with the block, and you place it, and you're good to go. After that, it'll it'll work. Do you know what these these ones you've made here remind me of? Those little hand pull of things they had in the Gundam shows. <laughs> you remember? Bingo. You just go up and hit the side wall and it just pull you down the corridor. That's kind of what I, that might have been, you know, a big influence on me. Is Whoa. They were used extensively in Gundam Wing. Whoa. <laughs> and I don't know if, you, if you've seen my avatar or shown my avatar. Yeah, of course I do. It's, it's, we're uh, all fans. It's Sandra. So there you have it. That was Gravity. And uh, we're going to move on now to the next patch note. So yeah, I'm going to spend too much time on each one. So there we go. Let's get back to this. Get back to this. So then, moving on to the next patch note. So, pirate nerf. Schema has added a solution for AI difficulty in the game. There's now a difficulty setting in the launcher. You can easily uh, change the settings for the AI. Also, you've got a new orbital viewing camera. Just hold the backslash key and it'll rotate around the astronaut. We found that if you hold shift as well, it goes even faster. So um, that's a new way to make yourself, make yourself throw up because <laughs> it's quite fast. Um, the GIFs can now be recorded by toggling the pause break key. The GIF is placed in your StarMade folder, same as screenshots. A uh, set of settings for GIF recordings have been added into the settings. Uh, so I haven't actually checked that out, so I might have a play and see if we can tweak that. But yeah, so as you can see, this image here was from, I think, Calvary's ship. And uh, that was posted up on the uh, on the patch notes there. So, um, And yeah, it looks like there's a tutorial on the forums by Crusade, because he was making these before the uh, feature was in the game. I kind of like this, it's very nice. So, that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, we've already shown you a bunch of GIFs, but I've got a few here. So, there's this one, which is just a sort of time-lapse of showing the planet rotation. And then we've got this one, which was taken from the lineup review with Dalmont last night. And then we've got this one, which is, I think, Zero Sen and Saber on my surfboard, sort of freaking me out and pushing me off my surfboard. And then, this is me not taking my helmet off. <laughs> and that's pretty much that patch, set of patch notes. So was there anything we wanted to show from that one? Other than what um, I've already shown? No, I think that pretty much covers it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Alright, so moving straight on to the uh, next set of patch notes. That one is going to be the Star Made Quick Fix. So uh, this was a fix to two bugs. One of them was lag when playing the game for a long time, placing and removing blocks. And then the other one was the faction relations random change. Uh, so that was fixed. So that was that. So we'll move straight on to the next one. And that would be Dave and his crew. There's a new astronaut here and his name is Dave. Now we covered this quickly in a previous news release, but there's more information on it now. So basically, uh, Dave is he's a 3D model created uh, by Keaton Purcell, a, a.k.a. Omnimotus. He's got his uh, Twitter feed there. And if you're interested to make your own custom skin, he has got templates on his Twitter for you to download and, uh, you know, customize your skin. So this is the new default skin, Dave. But he can be replaced, including a custom helmet skin. There's also emissive maps, isn't there, for, uh, for the skins. Uh, also, he has a new beautiful world of textures to explore, thanks to Tom Berridge, aka Kupu, the creator of Starmade's official new texture packs. Uh, Dave isn't alone in his lustrous new iteration of Starmade. He has a crew, so you can now hire crew members from NPCs aboard stations. You're limited to five active NPCs that you can give commands to. Uh, you can have more in reserve aboard your ship. This is an early stage for NPCs, and there's plenty left to add. So if something seems in need of improvement, rest assured it will be addressed. Be warned NPCs can die and there's no way to respawn them. 
currently. In addition to the new crew in this patch, Schema has added the AI panel, the fabricator tool, docking beam fix, cockpits can now function as the docking beam origin block, uh, and signature fetching, which will ask the client to, well, it's optimization on the code, so yeah. Uh, no need to go into the nitty gritties. All the details are again in the patch notes if you want to read these up. So this is content in the upcoming patch which is in the pre-build but is not in the live uh, current build. Okay. So I think probably uh, something we could quickly show would be the fabricator tool and the AI panel. So I mean I think I'm actually in the Naviri with you right now. Yep. So let's go back to the Naviri and uh, see what we can find there. Yep, uh, match. This would be a great spot to do it. I'll go ahead and do it so they can see. Third person view. Do, do, do. Okay, so first thing would be what? Well, where are you? Oh, I see you. Crash. What are you doing? I think he crashed, but bro. <laughs> I think he's uh, disconnected. So I'm just going to quickly let's see. Has he factioned the ship? That is the fabricator tool, people. Sorry, Ryben. I'll put the blocks back. So yeah, uh, when you go up to something and click mine, it will actually. Oh, there we go. See this. So I can put the blocks down, but if I want to remove them, you get this cool animation. And you can also see that animation when docking things and stuff. Um, right, oh, he's back. Yay, there you go. You can also make a... It's oh, nice. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> I'll get you, Ryben. I'll take you down. <laughs> I don't my ship in the <laughs> Warning, you cannot remove the core first. Warning, you cannot remove... <laughs> okay, excellent. So that's the um, fabricator tool. And... Uh, note, yep. that is the same graphic as salvagers now. Oh, excellent. Okay. And also, I like this graphic. It's cool. Wait, there's nothing there. Plex store. Oh right, of course it is. Whoops, sorry about well, that. Just, one. just stole your Plex store. <laughs> Breach. <laughs> so anyway, without me trashing up his ship, um, let's just put that door back for him. So uh, yeah, if you switch into a camera, the docking beam will originate from that point now. So um, yeah, that's going to make your docking easier. There was something else we wanted to show as well, wasn't there? From this um, patch note. Oops. No, not yet. We're not there yet. <clears throat> we not. We haven't got that far. Yeah, we haven't got that far. Spoilers. Spoilers. So yeah, there was uh, the AI tool. You need to see the AI panel quickly. That was it. That's right. Uh, let's. Why, you can do it right from the core. From the, from the other actually. from the other end. Right. Cool. Heading down. I just love this gravity elevator. All ships should have too. this gravity elevator. It's just a, just agree. fun. Okay, right, so we're straight in, in and, uh, and let's show them that thing. I press I and go to the AI config page and um, then click on Entity tab. Uh, oh, there's nothing here. Hang on, I know why. If I go to Structure tab first and then go Turret Activate All AI and then go to AI Entity. Oh, great. It doesn't work. It's... Uh, you've this thing, Ah, right, so it's not factioned. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's a little I had to get in. Okay, right, hang on, let's see. I'm not in a faction. Derp. No factions here. There we go, it's in a faction. Right, yay. So, structure tab. Turret docking, activate all turrets, AI, entities, still nothing there. Oh well. Anyway, well, normally you can use your selected, I've already showed it in a previous video, so I know it works. But um, 
Have I ended up in a turret somehow? Yeah, I have. Look, I'm up here, man. Ugh, I just dropped down through a hole in your... Uh... Is that intentional? Where are you? I just saw you come past. Look, are you near the core? Yeah. Yeah, if I just... Hang on, I need to unfaction your ship. <laughs> okay, right, ship's we'll unfactioned. Do you see me now? Yep. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, yeah, I just came down from here. Oh, yeah. Is that... I haven't quite finished that up yet. That's, yeah, but that's an interesting way of getting up to your turret, though, if this was how you do it. But I could make a little walkway. I might do that. Yeah. All right, anyway, moving on. Let's get back to the news. Derp, 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 derp. Right, plus pick. So that was uh, Ryben there helping me out, showing me a little bit inside for that patch note. So let's get back to the notes and see what's next. Okay. So then, moving swiftly onward, we have Lua E. Print. Hello world. So this is all about the new conversation script which is going to be coming in. You're going to be able to script some uh, interesting conversational data. So that means, you know, if, then, and, I believe, or if, and, at least. Which is going to be quite interesting to see what people come up with on the uh, roleplay servers, at least. Um, but there are also other patch notes in here, so I'm just going to quickly go run through. Docking beam origin is now currently used cockpit. Um, so yeah, that's to do with docking from the uh, cockpit camera. Fixed six-sided gravity from orient orientable gravity blocks. Implemented ha fabricator to harvest blocks instead of being able to remove straight away. Added bone scaling implementation. Uh, added rest of the new blocks to the config. Tetra hull shapes in various colors and orient orientations. Fixed a bug that would cause brightness on blocks when a ship is exited using shadows. Integrated Lua J libraries for full Lua support. Implemented Lua interface. Implemented new conversation system. This is what happens when you push R on an NPC in a station. Implemented system to create conversations with Lua. You can find the scripts in data slash scripts if you're interested in customizing that. Implemented networked conversation. Fixed block modding tool not to crash when reflection re reports non-accessible field. Improved shadows to not shine through faraway objects when close up to something that normally should be shadowed from that faraway object. Fixed some shader issues with not Mac graphics card drivers. Added a failsafe for path calculation to stop after a threshold is reached. Implemented normal maps. This refers to texture maps. Implemented, uh, oh sorry, fixed source of bugs on unloading entities when were triggered to save twice. One time for the sector unload and one time on the unload of the object itself. So this was a core source of various random bugs like objects completely vanishing. Fixed characters controlled by players falling off moving objects when in gravity or in sector change, which is a big, big thing because that means I can go surfing and not fall off my surfboard. Uh, implemented skin files implemented transmission for full skins so yes now you can actually have the new skin and everyone will see it, it doesn't replace everyone's skin with your own uh, remove lag from flying through open doors apparently there was a slight delay when going through an open door but that's been removed uh, further improve physics performance with advanced lookup tables removed unnecessary non-scaling transformation from physics cube cube collision process Improved performance of single block updates by a lot. Building, salvaging, opening doors. Reduced lag from loads of missiles in one place by a lot. Uh, improved A-star pathfinding to avoid turning it pos. Uh, implemented basic NPC path smoothing. Implemented s setting sliders. In integrated sliders for advanced build modes. So you can still click them, but you can just use sliders as well now, which is very nice. Advanced build mode size now saved by ship entered. So if you exit a ship and then get back in the ship, it should still have the settings on your advanced build mode remembered. Um, integrated sliders for weapon settings, which is a huge, huge improvement for anybody that does use custom settings on AMCs, because that used to take ages. So yeah, that's nice. Um, have we got anything demonstrable from any of that? I don't think. Well, I think if anything, you could do the uh, missiles and entities together. So at a minimum, soon you'll see the, uh, the how 
much of the entities. Plus, I believe that was the block update. The new block. Um, it said that he'd added them to the config, but I think there are later updates on that. So. Okay. Um, but certainly, yeah, I mean, we could show that now, yeah. Um, okay, so basically I'm just going to start that. Show. Okay. Basically, uh, it, the game now handles much more entities in a single area and handles missiles much better. And there's proof. Which is what we're going to be showing you now. So, up we go. Bang. There it is. And that would be... <coughs> And it's a very good example of, uh, you know, what what we're dealing with here. So you know, it's significantly improved, like massively. You you've got to see it for yourself, really, because to be honest, um, yeah, that that's that's that works. You know, where before it used to stutter a lot and freeze, now it just works. So yep, there's still some stuttering, still a little bit of freezing, but. Yeah. The number of entities you can have in a single sector before it says, nope, not doing this anymore, is yes. oh, huge. Yeah, drastic and drastic improvements is basically the deal. Aye. So I'm going to let this loop one more time and uh, then we'll move on to the next uh, item. So yeah, there you have it. Um, significant improvement with the number of entities in a system. You have some really nice big battles now. So yeah. Pretty cool. Thanks for that, Ryben, for sending that through to me. Um, no problem. So, let's get on to the next item. So then, Dave discovers that disintegrators explode. Now, I did immediately do some testing on this. I've got a video out. But, like I say, it's always in the works. So, we're going to go through a couple of the items here. So, explosion blocks disintegrator now explode on damage. Disintegrators now cause a chain reaction with each other. Uh, he's fixed a bug where gravity couldn't be turned off. The draw distance is no longer an option. It's all calculated over max segments. Navigation filter setting has, is now saved on the client. Uh, fixed a migration problem where a sp sprite style block was activated. I fixed a bug where an object would be displayed from cache after spawning it before an object with the same name was deleted. Uh, buying from catalog with blocks now includes the value of docked ships. If not enough blocks to buy from catalog, a list of total blocks needed will be sent to the player using the new chat log panel. So, you know, you can actually see that. That's quite a cool little feature. Uh, core can now be entered on the same ship if someone is already in the build block. Uh, now skipping docked structures that are already occupied when up down was pressed in flight mode. So you don't, you can't get into the same block as someone anymore, you know, by accident, if there's multiple people working on the same ship. Uh, fixed a bug where you would not be able to pick up the core as an astronaut. Uh, fixed the docking beam not resetting to the core when returning from a cockpit viewpoint. That's to do with docking from the cockpit now. Uh, auto completion of player name now puts proper case. Auto completion of player name now works outside of commands, so you can use it in chat, which is kind of cool. Uh, so if anyone's got some crazy, crazy name, you just need to type the first few characters and hit tab, and then that will auto fill. So it's very nice. Uh, docking on a faction base with faction except, uh, exception will no longer change faction of the docked ship. I think that was something to do with docking a ship with no faction block. And it sort of swallow up the ship. Um, so that's done. Uh, possible fix for AI not firing on turrets. Because as we know, turrets don't shoot at turrets, which is a bit of a, a bit of a problem, and that should be fixed. So uh, fix the bug where the cache would be considered newer, even if the object had been modified in absence. That was to do with a weird client cache problem where we have to keep resetting our cache. So that should be uh, sorted. Fixed mass calculation in docking situations, which I'm really happy about, because that means that now, if you've got 90% turrets, it does count towards the weight of the mothership, and so that will you know, affect your handling correctly. Uh, fixed the build orientation arrow. Fixed the bug where docking zone is not drawn in build mode when the ship is t itself is docked. I never saw that myself, but I know a few people that did, so that's nice. I'm just going to move straight on, I think, because I don't think we've got anything to demonstrate from that page. Uh, like I say, I made a video on this one, so uh, fun with explosive returns or something, I think it was called, I can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to move straight on, because this is the mother patch note. 
this is the big one. So I think we're going to take a look at those penters and things um, now. So before I get started, Ryben, are you there? Of course I am. Awesome. I'm just going to. I'm just going to come join you back in your ship again. Um, oh gosh, you are on the ceiling. <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, um, if you would like to take me somewhere and we can have a look at this. <laughs> this is interesting. All right, mate. Well. <laughs> um, yeah. So. Right. Well, this is one way to find walls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can find all those bits in the ceiling you missed. Right, so we have penters, everyone. It's a little dark in here. There will be um, got another little thing. And uh, by the way, if you notice, the hanging hanging lights are upside down to make joysticks. Uh, oh yeah. So you've so got joystick. Interesting. Okay, yeah. Because so yeah, block orientation. You can put everything upside down if you want. And um, obviously we've got the new whole corners, the Tetras. Okay, and then here we've got a Penta. So if you if you see the Pentas and the Tetras go together to form this new 45 degree angle, like a, di a diagonal. Speaking of which, have you got one over here? Have you? Yeah, but not anything correctly. Hold on. Here is a. You know what? I think I need to flip back over. <laughs> I'm just gonna light this up a little bit. Hold on. Okay, well, I can see up. a bunch of them here. up in the roof here. Yep. Here's a few of the blocks. Go ahead and grab those and stick them down if you'd like. What? <laughs> I don't see any blocks. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I think I got them. What are you giving me? Oh yeah, you're giving me one of these. Just place them down so that uh, people can see maybe a And a penta, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so we got the this one, yeah. And I, I put it there, so you got two of them that put them all like that, there. Yeah. And then we just put this one here. Bingo. And see, you've got it, you've got it, just like that. And then if you wanted to carry that on, I think, would we put that one there? Yeah, we put that one there. Yep, yep. And then we'd get the penta again, because people always ask, you know, about how would you actually use it. I mean, that's kind of how you would use it. Although, you know, it's not limited to that. That's just a way yep. of stacking them up. It's going to be very interesting to see what people come up with for uses for these things. Yeah. There are actually quite a few. And they can be, like, rotated through more... Do, you know more positions yep. than the old yeah than the old ones so that's the thing people don't realize you know how you couldn't put the corner on one side before can now so there it is yep, corners do orient to their side to the sides which is nice so like i say uh use of it should be i would think sparing but uh, it's going to help a lot with finishing okay. off those little bits where the edges just don't quite meet up so then, uh, I am going to stand on your bridge and look out into space, and we're going to get back to the notes. You could always show the uh, gravity changing sectors. Um, well, I'm currently in gravity. Would you? Do you want to? Well, no, it's all right. We've already shown that in videos yeah, a couple good. times, so it's it's all good. Great job. Right then, let's get back to the notes. Notes, notes, notes. That's what people want to see. So then, uh, let's read through these, shall we? I bet you've all checked them out, but if you haven't, we're going to scan through the bold ones. And if you want to read everything, you can go back and read through everything, okay? Because, like I say, it's Star Mage 01.1 pre-build, uh, and there you are. So then, improved character physics. Hopefully, hopefully no more gliding through lifts. Uh, improved transformation pipeline in physics, so no objects no uh, so objects no longer fall out of other moving objects if bound. Uh, astronauts in gravity falling out of ship. So that was what we were just talking about with the sector change. Um, change the universe rotation system to local rotation of planets. This allows for a day-night cycle. We've also covered that in a video recently uh, with a little time lapse of sorts. Uh, soft migration for block structure to allow for additional orientations. Things get migrated as they are loaded, 
so no version compatibility issues will occur unless a newly saved blueprint is loaded into an old version. So old to new is okay, new to old is not okay. They've added the penta shape, the tetra shape, additional corners front and back and additional corners left and right. Implemented fast threading A star pathfinding in an abstract way to be usable in various parts of the game. Uh, astronauts can now align themselves with the ship by pressing the jump button. The alignment works just like in gravity without actual gravity, so hopefully that should make it easier to get through doors which you've made too narrow. Um, optimized character physics further, 100 characters on the same planet from 10 to over 200 p FPS. Uh, fixed lighting not updating, oh wait, you better check that out, I'm doing the, I'm only doing the bold ones. So, complete redesign of mid-level segment data structure into dynamic octree structure on top of the existing low-level octree. Integrated new structure for more performance in memory, light calculation, physics, simple iteration, etc. Especially on structures with lots of empty space. Fixed a memory leak that would fill up over a long time, mostly on clients. Implemented cascading shadow maps with zoom fitted frustrum. Frustum? <laughs> Nice. That's a good word, Frustum. Uh, added player name autocomplete to all command pa parameters as well as slash PM and slash F for uh, obviously private message and faction chat if you didn't know. Turrets no longer reset rotation when entered and flight mode is used. Uh, turret rotation is now persistent and does not reset when the turret gets loaded after being unloaded. Added a key for slow walking in gravity, default is left shift. Implemented multiple texture packs chooser. So there are three texture packs. Cartoonish, realistic, and uh, old, which I'd call classic, you know, the last one. Current one we're using at the moment. Um, improved loading times of structures by setting initial sizes of maps from expected data, possible through new octree structure. Improved blueprint loading time using a faster method to transfer block, da uh, block connection data. Improved general block block physics on uh, collision performance. So, yeah, we're going to test that and see how that works. Um, implemented directional gravity blocks. Players can work on walk on walls or ceiling, which is what we've just been showing recently with Ribbon. Um, decreased network overheat by using pure primitives for buffers when applicable. Implemented signature fetching. Clients request a map of what the server knows for sure at the time and the region file is going to be empty. This decreases load times and network overhead because empty segments don't have to be processed in the segment manager at all. And thanks to the uh, Octree system, the update of empty segments takes zero memory and is very fast. Fixed out of direct memory danger for 32-bit Java when using texture arrays. Fixed method of saving virtual memory outside the heap. Uh, out of memory crashes on 32 systems, 32 bit systems should now be eliminated. Added auto rotate camera, default key is tilled. Um, I think we can use forward slash for that, but obviously it's uh, keyboard's different, differential differences. Added GIF recorder, default key is pause. Press once for record, once again for stop and finish. The GIF will be placed in your star made folder where all the normal screenshots sit. Um, chain docked objects are now also in home, break, home base protection. It was something people noticed in the last build. Your turrets and shuttles can still be destroyed. <laughs> so that's been fixed now. Obviously you need to be docked to a home base, but yes, there you go. The AI panel's been redesigned. We tried to show you that earlier, but for some reason uh, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get it to work. <laughs> but trust me, it does work because uh, I was using it the other night. And uh, you can actually remotely change from all to select a target on your turrets, which is very useful. Uh, and there are lots of options for the crew tab. I haven't seen the fleet tab used yet. Can't wait to see the fleet tab used. So docking beam origin is now currently used cockpit. So <clears throat> dock from the cockpit. Implemented fabricator to harvest blocks instead of being able to remove them all at once. Integrated Lua J libraries for Lua support. Implemented Lua interface. Implemented new conversation system. Implemented new system to create conversations with Lua. Implemented networked conversation. Implemented normal maps. 
there was the sector unload bug, which was I'm sorry, unload entity bug, which was not uh, being happened twice. So that that was fixed. We talked about that earlier. Implemented skin files. Implemented transmission for skin files. Removed lag from opening through uh, flying through open doors. Further improved physics performance with advanced lookup tables. Uh, improved performance of a single block update by a lot. Implemented basic path smoothing. Implemented setting sliders. Integrated sliders for advanced build mode. Advanced build mode now, yeah, like we talked about earlier, or remember your settings. Uh, integrated sliders for weapon settings. Fixed several chunk error sources. Implemented message log, filters, and fast chat. System will replace slash F for faction chat or PM name automatically if, ch uh, if chat is used in a message log panel with the filter selected. So it's going to be a new chat system by the looks of it. Uh, fixed lag bug on dock structures after the object has already loaded in. Server tells the client that the object is physics active. Added AI settings. Implemented basic customizable AI behavior for NPC crew. Uh, explosion blocks chain and explode on damage. Draw distance no longer calculated, uh, sorry, as an option. It's uh, all over max segment. Navigation filter is now saved on the cl client. Uh, docked ships included in buying with blocks. Fixed for AI on not firing on turrets. Fixed bug for cash. Talked about that just now. Uh, for a uh, sort of caching. Uh, it's desync. Mass calculation for docking situations fixed. Uh, fix the bug where the docking zone is not drawn in build mode when the ship itself is docked. Home base protection, again, what we were talking about with the turrets being griefed, that's been fixed. Immensely decreased lag when holding, uh, sorry, when loading in big structures with a lot of usable blocks like weapons. First eliminating an unnecessary network transmission, using a better data structure to group the algorithm in the grouping alg algorithm and removing an inefficient exception. Fixed synchronization bug that uh, leads to crash or other glitches when requesting segments, uh, including battles. Um, improved AI engagement behavior, reorganized initial items a bit and added helmet. Faction-owned blocks can now be activated by docking beam of a ship without a faction signature, but being flown by the pilot of that faction. Fixed missile head graphics. Increased maximum number of missile trails. Further decreased lag from missiles. Improved long-term performance of server by fixing a bug that could possibly prevent sector from unloading, even if players are no longer present. Implemented personal enemies of factions. Made personal enemies of factions consistent. Added GUI options for personal enemies of factions consistent. Ed editable if the rank of the faction member has permission to edit. Attack on hostile action will now add a non-faction player to the personal enemies and no longer considers all neutral enemies. This is something which I haven't really been had, had a chance to look into and could be very interesting moving forward. The full patch notes for this entire section is done. Oh look, fix possible server block service hang up when placing auto-connected blocks like the disintegrator. Yeah, that's that's one of the ones I found, so that's cool. Uh, I think he actually fixed it on the same day that I brought the video out showing it, <laughs> like within about an hour. So yeah, he's been seriously working hard on this latest patch. Um, is there anything from that gargantuan list which we've finally gotten through that you want to show? I think we've probably covered most of it already. I think um, the only thing that uh, I would like to say, not so much show, is we've noticed, uh, well, you can attest to how bad ele the electronic warfare, if you will, uh, happened uh, in the Hamilton. Yeah. On the main server. Yeah. Down here, you've been able to put it in, no problem. Yeah. Well, a little bit of lag, but it's not nearly as not bad. Not too much. So that's proof. Yeah, not too yeah, much. And we've and, and all those all those entities, large entities with useful blocks, um, that just goes to show that it really is that impressive. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, because that's got too many usable blocks. And doesn't seem to be that much of a problem in this build, which is really fresh. 
What have we got here? So. Oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> did I open the door you were standing on there, mate? Uh, yeah. Can you, can, can, can you get out of there, though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah, nice. That works. So you've had this problem and fixed it. Okay, cool. So in that case, let's just move on to the next set because uh, we're going to be moving into the bug fixes that have been all in the pre-builds in the last sort of couple of weeks or couple of days, really. Two weeks, I think it has been in total. Something like so that. let's just run through all those and uh, call this one to a close. Sounds right. good. Mm -hmm. Oh dear, what have I done? Quick, get out of the git glitch. What happened? I fell through the floor, but it's okay. I'm back. <laughs> Back, I'm back. <laughs> I'm going to look out the back here and we're going to go back to the notes. So, let's get back to the notes, shall we? Um, moving on, we've only got seven more, but luckily these are all small. So, some graphic memory improvements, GL out of memory. The game is using compressed textures now. This will give this will for one give performance in general. Texture throughput is a bottleneck, and also fix the GL out of memory exception that people are getting using high-res texture packs, shadows, normals, etc. The memory gain from this is immense. Ultra shadows plus 256 and normals down from 700 meg to 400. So that's like you know nearly half. Uh, better cleanup, a little less work for the graphics, dra graphics driver when shutting down the game, especially when it's launched immediately after that, because obviously if you do a reboot, you, that's a common thing for people to do, so that's nice. Physics collision performance, sometimes objects that are vis not visually moving were causing physics calculations, microscopic fluctuations caused by the time step, leading to high, high ping server side and FPS drop client side. Uh, and then the uh, pretext to not use this on a massive server. So, there we go. That's basically that build, and that was... Which one was this? It doesn't have a number. <clears throat> so this was on the 3rd of February. Okay. So then, if we just close this down and move straight on to the next one. Right then, more bug fixes. Uh, fix the crash from pressing tab on some dialogue text entries, added player name auto complete to text input panels that require player names, added advanced options to deal with possi possible graphics driver bugs, compression and mipmap, Impro improved synchronization of server segment to requ uh, request to hopefully get rid of physical chunk errors, those that won't go away after restart and cache clear, fix migration crash when trying to migrate block type that is not known custom blocks basically if your ship was built on a server with custom blocks sometimes it's uh, could cause a problem so he seems to have fixed that um, compressed inventory change transmission for factory blocks to be more scalable fixed AI error FSM exception on servers fixed bug that would cause crash on startup resource exception improved segment sorter to be th more, th more thread safe Fixed bug where character would be considered neutral for a short time. Player character now set faction ID to faction, player's faction before spawn. Uh, fixed a bug where sector information would not update correctly in SQL, causing protection mode of sector not to save, respawning asteroids, etc. Added mining effect, improved responsiveness of all beams, hopefully fixed the crash from sorting factions by relation in the hub panel. Implemented procedurally generated background. Still a little slow, can be turned on in the in-game options. So at this point, I couldn't see that, I remember. But in a later patch, which we're going to move on to now, it actually did show that. So, more fixes for the pre-build. 90% of bugs were coming in. This is on the 9th, and this is 0.103. So uh, he's basically saying the procedural backgrounds are sped up to be as fast as regular backgrounds. They do require frame buffer. The system will check automatically and try to use it if procedural backgrounds are turned on and will revert to the normal skybox background otherwise. He calculated the seed of the background by 16 by 16 by 16 sector star system. So each system now has a unique feel to it and it will be persistent throughout a universe until the universe reset. The background will blend to black and change at the borders of a system. Uh, fixed the crash on loading shop AI skin, no pointer. Inserted more tests to find a specific bug causing GL exception. Switched to regular textures for better compression. Some graphics card threw out of memory despite having plenty on using compressed textures. Uh, decreased texture array of ultra shadow quality, not noticeable but cuts memory in half. 
implementing uh, implemented adapted adapting procedural backgrounds in different qualities resolution please note some graphics cards don't support 4096 so that's that now we're on to wait did I just do 105 no I did 103 no that was 103 so now we're on to 104 Point 104, fixed null pointer crash when joining multiplayer in the vicinity of an NPC. Made multiplayer on a fresh server basically un unplayable because of course there's an NPC right there at the spawn. Um, yeah, so that's cool. Uh, he fixed that. I never saw that one though. Uh, fixed jiggling when traveling in docked ship or turret. Uh, slightly optimized object position transmission to reduce data that has to be sent on update. And as far as I understand it, that's related to that, but maybe maybe a little bit more wide covering, you know. So uh, we're going to move straight on to 105, because this is just bug, bug fixes again. So 105, now then, fixed crash when system tries to draw floating item that doesn't exist. Added, probably, final vertex component mask for cube shader. Added correct normals for wedges. Added correct normals for corners. Added correct normals for penta. Added correct normals for tetra. Fixed GL invalid operation error happening in build mode. Happening when using multi-sampled frame buffers and reading pixels from it. In advanced build mode to check for mouse position. Uh, improved lighting. Reduced green color in procedural backgrounds. Implemented admin command slash delay underscore save space a number for seconds for server admins to create back backups without being in danger of a writing process messing with it uh, make sure to wait a bit after using this command it, since in case there are running write requests they will continue to run and finish so slash delay underscore save space zero will turn the delay off immediately please be especially careful with this pre-build as usual you know please look after this bear <laughs> So there we have it, point 105. I'm going to move on to point 106 because um, if you want to see any of this stuff, my good friend here, Ryben, has been streaming on it pretty regularly. Uh, and also, a lot of the things he's been finding have been getting fixed like the next day. So, uh, there's an example of that in this next one, and uh, it's actually a really big change in my opinion. So, we'll show that off if you look behind you. Okay. There are build blocks. There are build blocks. And You'll see why in just a minute. Should we read it first? Um, Should we read it first? Yeah, yeah just quick. All right, so uh, fixed possible server crash on invalid docking update. Fixed object being declared as modified blueprint after it is already spawned when blocks were added afterwards. Fixed gravity bug where player will already be in slot velocity when activating the gravity block. Fixed gravity pointing somewhere other than downwards, warping the player to a seemingly random position. Fixed glitching of active object, active object when astronaut is suddenly thrown out of an object, e.g. destroy entity was used on a ship with a player in it. In case of emergency shutdown, forced termination by an outside admin, the database will no longer attempt to compact itself, as that may under rare circumstances cause corruption. Fixed gravity bug where player would suddenly be put out of gravity, also made some gravity blocks look like they weren't working at all since it was instantly stopped. Gravity lifts are now usable. Added gradient to advanced build mode, build block preview. Added extra alpha for block preview in advanced build mode, so the blocks are completely transparent, can still be easily seen. Improved lighting for back shading, being better handled with a block light. Fixed shadow not working in the last version. Improved lighting for block light to illuminate shadowed areas better. Fixed the crash in sun sectors with shadows. Light was at zero position. Uh, included tolerance for modified blueprints, server.cfg. The default is actually 10%. I actually buff mine up to, to 15%, uh, but I think that 10 is a good setting because that's what it usually is. It's usually around 10 or just under 10 uh, for the uh, modified blueprint that removes your ship on spawn, just to be uh, specific about what that is. So uh, the new version blueprints should be more resilient against falsely triggering blueprint, blueprint modification. Still, please make sure the object is fully loaded before saving a blueprint, because that is the number one cause of the modified flag. Um, Kupu updated the normal maps, fixed the build block uh, flickering when trying to build in build mode on a moving object, fixed the bug in recursive price calculation of blueprints plus docked. So, yeah, so you want to show me something, do you? From this. Yep, um, yeah? I'm gonna Let's have a look. I'm in the back of your ship right now. 
Yeah, I'm right next to you. All right, where, where, where uh, just re regaining control. Let me just see. Oh, oh well, there you are. <laughs> and build blocks are right there. If you want to jump in, you can show off the gradient because I think that's kind of an interesting thing. And the real point I want to make about this is, schema, you are a god amongst men. So what do I have to do here? Uh, just get in the build block. Yep. And uh, if you hold down control. You hold down control. Gradient. Uh, if you have a rotatable block. Oh, hang on. If you Hang on, I'm uh, I'm in flight mode. Here we go. There we go. I'm in build mode now. Yeah. I was like, huh? Why can't I do it? Okay. <laughs> right. So if I do what now? Hold if control. You control. Yep. For build. Rotatable block. Yeah. In the top right hand corner, there's now a color gradient behind there because some of the blocks. Oh, are yeah, yeah. Because depending on the color of, of, of what you get. Because if I, for example, guys, if I'm here and there's some crystal there. Before the crystal would actually sort of there'd be no silhouette and you wouldn't be able to see what see I've got a white block, I've got a white block and I'm trying to rotate it on a white background so it just didn't really work. But now yep. with the little gradient there, you can actually see. It. I mean I must admit what I used to do was I would look somewhere dark, you know, because yep. I, I actually if I'm facing a direction, Unless you're trying to place a black I, block, in which case you have to switch to somewhere light. Well, but because obviously just for the angle, you know, here, if I look oh, yeah. and then I can see, you know, if I just turn 45 degrees, like isometric turn, you know, yeah. and, and you can see that the, you can, you can tell what angle it is a little bit better, if you know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, so I can see why you need that transition there. It works really well with the glass blocks because they're so clear in the so, realistic texture pack. So you up against black, it brings out the white and up against white, it brings out the black. So exactly. that's and, what you uh, want, really. And just for an example, that was a bug that, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but that was a bug that we found during the live stream. Yep. Schema had it done the next day. Yeah, exactly. So all power to Along Schema. Along with the gravity issues, the warping out of the ship, that happened a few times. Um, and stopping, I mean, he is all power to Schema. Mike. Exactly, exactly. It's the best, yeah. So let me just see. Can I see? I can't see my face. Where's the light source in this ship? Is it? Uh, well, is it behind? Ah, uh, wait. Yeah, there it is. I need to face this way. Yep. And we may as well just show people that helmet animation real quick. Ba boom! And you all thought <laughs> Zero Sen made me this uh, skin, so I've still got a mask. It's, you can't see the headband, but I've got a mask on <laughs> under my helmet, which is pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, it's all good. No. It's all good. So yeah, basically uh, that's pretty much that. He's got his lightsaber out again. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's get wow. back to the. Let's get back to the notes. We ain't got many left now. Because right. yep. this was like a big month roundup. Okay. I think you got one more. What, last one then. So thanks everybody for watching so far. Because like I say, it's been a monster patch note session. And I thought, hey, why don't we invite Raven in on it to help out? And then obviously. Just stream it because uh, obviously this will be recorded, so we'll be going out on YouTube in a slightly more edited format, um, alleg allegedly. So anyway, here we are with the more bug fixes point 107 from yesterday. Hopefully this update will fix the crash at 100% errors that players are able to play versions before 0 0.1. So basically, people that couldn't log into the rebuild up to now because of that crash at 100% load, basically. That should be fixed, hopefully. If you get a chunk error, please send in a manual report, crash and bug report menu, in the connection setup and preferences screen. The errors are fortunately not data loss, as normally a relog will bring them back, but he still needs to fix it. So please do, just instead of relogging, try to, to send the manual report. It's an option in the launcher, I believe. Um, so there you go. Um, here is the change log. Fixed normal bump mapping. Some wrong vectors causing the lighting to change and the bump looking look wrong. Uh, improved self illumination of light source blocks. Fixed shaders for some graphics cards. ATI mostly Mac. Um, fixed further vector zero length exception. And then the pretense. You know, please be careful because this is a pre build. So yeah, and uh, oh oh look, it's schema and he's. Killing the bugs. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Some people do post some funny things, I gotta say. So, uh, with that being said, I think we've pretty much covered all of the patch notes. Is there anything else that we want to look at before we? Uh, I think I might show off your uh, your video again of the mass centerpiece. 
Yeah. Let's do it. So let's show that again. Oh yeah. It's beautiful. It's the future. That's the future. And expect it to get better, you know? It gets better every almost every day. Just be optimistic cuz that's the best thing. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Just ships flying around everywhere, HD backgrounds, shadows, bump mapping the lot. It's now it's it's pro now. I love it. Like I loved it before, but now it's like on a whole new level. Which is awesome. 